Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch and Carry. So in today's video, we're gonna be just doing an unboxing of the 2X external battery system for the One Wheel Plus, and I believe also the One Wheel uh, version one. So the 2X, if you don't know what that is, it is a external battery pack. This is the One Wheel Plus I have in front of me, and we're on the bottom of the board right now. And what it essentially does is it replaces the stock battery that um, nickel iron phosphate battery that you get with the One Wheel Plus. And then it also gives you a second battery which goes on top of this case here and a third battery which goes on top of this case over here. So in a sense, it gives you three batteries and it completely replaces the stock battery that comes with the Plus. Um, it's important to note that along with the features which I'll go over in a little bit, the kit is completely reversible, meaning that there are no wires that you're um, having to splice. There's nothing that you're vamping into or tapping into. In essence, if you installed this kit and then let's say you uninstalled it and returned everything back to stock, it would be pretty hard to tell that the board had ever been modified, except I think for a sticker, which is on the stock battery that does get torn when you remove that. That being said, even though you can return your one wheel completely back to stock without any modifications, this does technically void your warranty, so just keep that in mind. So why would somebody want to get the 2X? Uh, the 2X, um, from reading reviews online, the stock battery that it replaces is a little bit more of a reliable battery, according to the 2X website. Reliable in terms of delivering a more consistent um, battery output to the motor. And then one of the reasons why it does that is, you know, the motor has a lot of demand placed on it to keep you balanced and to translate your inputs, like your body motions, into outputs. And when you are putting that kind of demand on one battery, people have sometimes said that the demand can over exceed the capacity of the stock one wheel plus battery to provide that in a very consistent manner. So rather than having that demand on the one wheel motor placed on one battery, you now are sharing that demand amongst one, two, and three different batteries. Um, in terms of what you will notice as a rider, it will give you extended range. So the one wheel plus is rated from the factory at about five to seven miles on a single charge. And this should increase that range with the 2X battery to, I believe it's 12 to 18. Um, I would check the, uh, the website for that, but essentially giving you XR range. Some people have reported even more than their XRs. So it will just depend on your writing style and your writing environment. Um, other things that you will notice as a writer is increased power and torque. So while this technically does not increase the top speed of the One Wheel Plus, uh, the One Wheel Plus has um, noticeably less torque, especially when going uphill compared to the XR. And this essentially will make up for that gap, giving you more power and more torque, but not a higher top speed. Um, something that has been mentioned here and there, you know, on the website and on um, the Facebook group for the 2X system is the pushback gets also affected by the 2X external battery. So some people have said that the pushback comes in a little bit later when they've installed this kit. Some people have said that it's a less harsh put, uh, less harsh pushback sensation after they install the 2X. So it, it kind of varies. Some people have said they really haven't noticed any change as well. So, you know, you'll have to just, I guess, try it out or, you know, I'll make a video on this later once this is installed and kind of give you my feedback on that as well. So let's go into the box today. I, I will not cover the installation because uh, Soren Curry, who is the, the maker of the 2X system, already has a great YouTube video. You can just YouTube search uh, Soren 2X one wheel battery and he has another guy do the camera work. So you really get a great explanation of how to install it. As I go through the install process following his video, if there's anything that I find a little bit tricky, I might make a separate video on that and just say, hey, at minute three, let's say in Soren's video, uh, I found this tricky and this is what I did to kind of solve that. So we will play with that a little bit later. So getting to the unboxing here. 
I ordered this uh, directly from the 2X website. I ordered it about, I'd say a week ago and got it today. So shipping is, you know, relatively quick. Okay, so inside the package, let's take a look here. Get some bubble wrapping. Okay, you get some 2X hardware here and a 2X sticker it looks like. Okay, so that'll come in useful later. Okay, so let's unwrap this first package first and we'll get to the other two that I see inside the box. Be careful when cutting this um, this bubble wrap. I was cutting at an angle, you can see, because I saw that there were wires here, so just make sure you're not diving right in and accidentally cutting those wires. Okay, so this is the main battery pack. I just watched the Soren video, and this is essentially what's going to replace the stock battery. That's gonna go inside uh, the case itself. So first impressions, this looks well built. Let's start with the wiring. So the wiring is well organized. I do like Soren's attention to detail that he mentioned in the videos. For example, he had mentioned that these wires can be a little bit hard to keep in place. So he has pre-taped these, you know, set of wires here. Okay. And the battery pack looks like it is completely sealed, which is nice. There is only two pieces of labeling I can see on this. So that, and then the 2X battery here. Okay, so there are no watt hour ratings from what I've gathered on this battery or the two satellite batteries, which is what you call the other batteries that go underneath the carriage of the One Wheel Plus. So if you're planning to fly with this, uh, technically you can fly with a stock One Wheel Plus, but you cannot fly with a One Wheel Plus and all three of these satellite batteries and the main battery from 2X installed together. I believe out of the three batteries that you get from 2X, you know, if you were to install two of them and put them on the one wheel, plus you could technically fly legally, but it doesn't work that way. You need all three batteries to, uh, to make the system work. So if you're gonna fly and you're wanting to keep it legal, you're gonna have to remove this system and uninstall it, okay? But like I said, it is a system that can be uninstalled and reinstalled. Soren in his video has said that He's done this, you know, more than a dozen times and everything goes back working as it should. So now let's go into the second package here. Okay, these are wrapped together. I do like the way this is packaged, so lots of padding on the inside. So these are the battery satellite, uh, satellite battery packs that you will be getting. And again, uh, there are two here, and these are the two that will go on the outside, but underneath the board, notably here and here. So let's take a look at these more in detail. Let's start with this battery pack. Okay, this one is, you know, feels like a hard plastic or metal. 
Okay, you will notice that there are some, it looks pretty reflective here. I don't want you to accidentally think that this is, you know, battery fluid or acid that has leaked out. What Soren has essentially done is he's tried to water, create as much water resistance in the pack as possible. So he is, looks like he puts that, um, I've used it in my car before. It looks like electrical, liquid electrical tape that you can kind of paste around electrical components to make them a little bit more insulated from moisture. So that is good. He got some labeling there that says 2X. Okay. And then you can see here that the battery is beveled. Okay. So essentially, it would look like this after you install it. Okay, obviously the wires would be tucked in. You wouldn't have anything exposed, but you can see why there's a beveled edge there, right? It allows you to, uh, this is the tail end, so it allows you when you're going for a stop to still maintain that stop and hitting the bumper in your stop rather than hitting the battery, okay? Let's go back to the second battery now and see what that looks like. Okay, again, we have some labeling here. Okay. Again, more of that electrical, um, liquid electrical tape that looks like here to make it as water resistant as possible. Some of these connections also have that liquid electrical tape. Okay. And the wires here are all insulated in this, it looks like heat shrink tubing, as well as here. And then there's also some tape here to kind of keep the wires as organized as possible. And I do like that when he can, these wires are color coded. Okay, the battery pack itself, again, as the other ones, is 2X and 2X. And that's pretty much it. So let's get this all laid out for you so you can see everything together. So that is the whole entire system right there. Okay, and again, this battery would be going inside and replacing that stock lithium iron phosphate battery. The screws and hardware that he provides are a little bit longer. They are not all the same size, so just make sure you watch that video to know which length of screw to put, in, to put into which hole for the, ba the satellite batteries but you obviously need something longer because you're going to be replacing these stock fasteners and you have this extra thickness to make up for. Okay, um, in terms of weight, I believe that also is on the 2X website. I recommend going to 2X website and then clicking on the FAQ page because there's tons of questions there that have already been answered and it's pretty well organized. I don't have a scale on me, but Holding all of these together, you know, let's see, where's my dog? Cooper, come here, sweetie, come here. <laughs> come here, Cooper. Oh, there you are. Let's see if I can get you in focus here. Hi, sweetie, come here, come here. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to use you for a reference. Okay, so. So you are, you are about 12 pounds, right? <laughs> this is not the best way to be judging the weight. Yeah, I would say, you know, anywhere from six to 10 pounds. Again, go to the website. Don't let my reference with a dog uh, be a good guide for how much it weighs, but it, it weighs about like six to 10 pounds to me. Um, so that's going to pretty much cover it. Uh, I don't think there are any instructions inside the box. Okay, but like I said, you can go to uh, YouTube and search in YouTube for this name and then type in installation after 2x and immediately you'll have Soren's video. I think the video is about like 40 minutes long. It's him basically, it looks like in his garage and there's a, you know, a camera guy who's doing all the filming work. Um, I'd also recommend you go to the Facebook group uh, for 2X and uh, join. And when you go in there, 
you know, rather than just ask a question immediately, go to the search bar in 2X group and start searching for any questions that you might have because almost everything that I can think of, and I always have a million questions for anything, has been covered already on there. And then if not, just type in a question. And what I've noticed is a lot of that community, the members in that group are pretty responsive and Soren himself is very, very active in there. I think, you know, within a few hours today, sometimes he will respond to people's questions. The customer service from what I've heard from other people with Soren is really, really good. So just get involved. It's also a nice place to just kind of meet people who are also using this kit. Um, I haven't seen too many reviews of this kit online other than from Jimmy Chang. So, you know, I recommend going to his channel if you want to get a real world test. I will do my own, which won't be as nicely produced as his, but I will give you my impressions. I am currently getting, you know, consistently about 5.56 miles on flat pavement, um, fully charged on my one wheel plus riding in delirium. So it'd be interesting to see how this is going to affect my distance and my power once I uh, get this kit installed. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Anyways, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I uh, hope you guys found something useful. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, that would be uh, very much appreciated. And as always, uh, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.